going on you guys autumn collector to here welcome back to another video welcome back to another chucky season 2 video yes guys today i'm going to be breaking down chucky season 2 episode 5 like oh boy this episode was shock full of surprises like a surprise after a surprise after a surprise it was so so amazing i loved it so much like i think from now on this is where the series um you know gets a little bit more straightforward it gets more serious more scary kind of you know and just it gets better from here like i really hope that's what's gonna happen because you know episode 4 was amazing i know episode 5 i think it was even better kind of you know i loved it so so much like it had some horrifying scenes which i will get back to that uh near the end of the video but this 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 episode was just so so amazing so without further ado let's dive right into this so first of all we cut to buff chucky versus good chucky i really like you know when we get doll scenes doll fight scenes like you know we got a, a doll fight scene with chucky and tiffany and chucky and glenn and now this i thought that was really really cool but again buff chucky and good chucky feels so silly to me it's not serious not straight horror again as i said before imagine if we have buff freddy krueger or brainwatch mike myers that wouldn't be that good with it so if that doesn't work for those characters, now there is Chucky, because Chucky isn't any less. So, I don't really like it. I think it's too silly. But, you know, having a doll fight, I think it's really cool. Kind of like, you know, a reference to Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky. And then Buff Chucky gets pinned in the wall like a, you know, crucifix, which I thought that was kind of cool, you know, and it looked really, really creepy. And then we cut to a title card with stuffed animals, maybe because, you know, good Chucky, so you know nice and sweet or maybe because of Glenn because Glenn likes you know to play with stuffed animals maybe um I thought that was I thought it's I think it's cool but I don't really see the link to this episode but I, I think it's still cool then we cut to Glenn having a dream or more like a little nightmare they're just like the head you know showing flashbacks of past events from Seed of Chucky 2004 but you know obviously Glenn doesn't know that I thought when this happened, you know, these little flashbacks, I think they're really amazing. Like so far, we just keep on getting more, more references to Seed of Chucky. And I like, I want to get references to Child's Play 1, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3. I think when we get these, these type of references from the first three movies, this is where, you know, this is, this is where it gets better. It just, it's, it, it gets so exciting because we just barely get references to the first three movies anymore like season one was pretty cool and curse of chucky but now there's barely any there's a lot of bride of chucky with you know tiffany playing jennifer tilly the bride of chucky um which i is it, i don't quite count it it's just mainly seed of chucky so i really hope to get more references and more easter eggs and callbacks to the first three chucky movies then we cut to you know when confront mother you know, um, they question Valentine, but of course Tiffany doesn't want to say anything because, you know, she misses Nick and, and she she wants to know where she is, but of course Glenn wouldn't give any details. Then we cut to Jake and Devin fighting again uh, about Good Chucky, you know, Jake thinks that Good Chucky, you know, he's, he's brainwashed and he's now good, while Devin thinks he's faking it, and that's also something that I'm questioning myself, like, is... Is good Chucky actually good or is he faking it? Because he's supposed to be a spy. That Chucky specifically is supposed to be a spy. So he could be faking it. And that would mean literally that Chucky is an incredible actor for sure. But he could be actually good. I really hope we get a confirmation about that in later in the episodes. If, is good Chucky actually good or is he actually faking it? Then we cut to Jake baptizing Chucky like for real. I thought that was... I mean... It was kind of silly, you know, b baptizing Chucky, but it also kind of cool at the same time. But, you know, that that scene was just so silly. But I thought it was, it was kind of cool and kind of funny too. And this is where the good stuff starts to happen. This is where it gets more intense. This is where, you know, it just gets more exciting. Because the first stuff, these kind of stuff, other than, you know, Glenn confronting their mother. Um, you know, other than that... The rest is, is kind of boring, but this is where it gets intense, like for real. We cut to Jennifer Tilly um, with Meg, you know, they're talking, you know, but Meg starts to question Tiffany, you know, well, Jennifer Tilly about 
stuff that Meg and Jennifer would only know. And of course Tiffany has no idea so she goes through this room where we see a Chucky Ghost Psycho poster. I thought that was really amazing. And we see this room where you know Tiffany keeps all the actual Jennifer Tilly stuff. But there's a cage in that room where she, where she takes off the fabric that's covering that cage and we see the Tiffany doll. But not just the Tiffany doll, that is the original Tiffany doll since she has the scar. So basically, you know, th this Tiffany doll, you know, is the same one from Seed of Chucky. Which means that the Cult of Chucky Tiffany doll, Chucky Season 1 and Chucky Season 2 dolls were only backup dolls. But this is the original Tiffany doll from Bride of Chucky to Seed of Chucky till now. But this isn't actually Tiffany, you know, possessing the Wedding Bell doll. This is actually the real Jennifer Tilly possessing the wedding bell doll possessing the tiffany doll like that was so mind-blowing because in seed of chucky tiffany you know did the switch spell she did the heart of timbala chan she had the heart of timbala but she said switch so what happened is she switched places with jennifer tilly which means that jennifer tilly would be in the tiffany doll and it didn't seem to work at first but later on where tiffany well jennifer tilly's eyes you know goes green this is where it actually works is since that Tiffany has been pretending to be Jennifer Tilly all this time not even telling the twins who she really is and that means that Tiffany doll was possessed by the real Jennifer Tilly and I, I think at the time most likely that Jennifer Tilly was unconscious in the Tiffany doll so I think that's why she didn't say anything but oh boy that was so cool that was so shocking like damn dude that was that was so intense because you know since we're only finding out this now you know since 2004 we've been you know making up theories we've been speculating stuff since there was no confrontation but now it's finally confirmed but beforehand we all thought that that jennifer tilly is still in her own body just unconscious you know and we were just waiting for her to finally regain control of her body but no, that turns out that is not the case at all. So amazing that Jennifer Tilly is still around and the original Tiffany doll is also still around because she has, you know, the stitches. So that was so, so amazing. And what's funny is that Jennifer Tilly only wanted chocolate. I reference to see of Chucky where Jennifer Tilly liked, you know, she always loved that Mr. Good Bar. So that was really cool and really funny. And what is so amazing is Meg finally, you know, discovers uh, her sister being trapped in a Tiffany doll and that was so cool and then we see you know Tiffany killing Meg that was so so emotional and then her finally telling Glenn that her, her name is Tiffany Valentine and it's their mother later on you know Tiffany tells Glenn everything that she tells them the truth and what is so so amazing is she gives them a late birthday gift and what is the birthday gift it's the glendal no that is so amazing i am so happy that the glendal is finally back that you know that was so amazing i also love the seed of chucky theme playing in the background that was so incredible so now glenn knows the truth and they now have the glendal and now they're gonna go get glenda and tell them you know about the truth and you know the glendal and stuff like that and that is so amazing because because they were once two souls stuck in one doll body, Glenn and Glenda, but now and their souls went into human body. So that would be cool if maybe Glenn only goes into the doll or Glenda, or maybe both of them becomes two souls stuck in one doll body again. That would be really cool. But then Tiffany finally, you know, accepts that she she was trying to be someone that she's not, and she burns Tiffany Jennifer's mansion, and she drives off with Glenn, the Glenn doll, and Jennifer Tilly in the Tiffany doll to go get Glenda and to tell them the truth. There on we, we cut to Uncommon's World where Ch Buff Chucky is risen and he kind of, you know, shows himself to uh, Sister Ruth. <laughs> she thinks that, you know, it's Jesus Christ. That was so hilarious, but I also really, really like that. So we cut to Lexi and Devin going into the woods where they discover a ton of dead Chucky dolls and that was so scary and so creepy 
I love that scene so much where they see a cabinet. Now, I thought that was Andy's cabinet from Court of Chucky. I mean, it could still be, but I just think it's just a cabinet, a random cabinet. Where we see the dead bodies in there because, you know, Trevor's body was missing and now it's in there. But we see Andy, you guys. And Andy now has a long beard and a long hair. Like, he doesn't look healthy at all. So I think it must have been a very long time. Andy is alive, which is amazing. But he is kept hostage by bold Chucky, the colonel. Now, that is the colonel, the bold Chucky. I thought that was buff Chucky, the colonel. Because that name fits him so well. Because, you know, he's buff. But no, it's actually bold Chucky. And I have no idea what is going on in this scene. Is, is, is bold Chucky torturing Andy? Or is he doctoring him? I have no idea. And Chucky seems to be wearing this necklace of, what is it, Chucky doll ears or flesh or something. I have no idea what's going on here, but they better not kill Andy. Because if they kill Andy, I'm gonna lose it. Because that means they will just they just ruined the Chucky franchise. They cannot kill Andy. Andy is an important character. He is the main character if you really think about it. I really hope Andy gets out there, you know, shaves his beard, trims his hair, becomes healthy again. Because, oh my god, this scene was so horrifying. Like, as an OG Chucky fan from the very start, this scene was so horrifying. I don't like seeing Andy like that. It's, it hurts. And one of the biggest twists of them all is Dr. Mixer is on this. Like, I knew she was suspicious, but I didn't think that would, you know, make that Dr. Mix Mixer is on with Chucky. Now, Dr. Mixer could be Tiffany's mother. Maybe she's not dead. Maybe she wasn't killed by Chucky. Maybe she's Tiffany's sister. Or maybe she's one of Charles Lee Ray's childhood friends from, you know, the orphanage. Like, I have no idea what is going on in here. Like, it's so confusing now. But I really hope they explain that in the next episode. Because, oh my god. But they better save Andy. They better not kill him off. Because Dr. Mixer is calling Charles Lee Ray, Ch Charlie, which is like a nick, she's most likely a nickname that she's giving to Charles Lee Ray Chucky. But this is so exciting and horrifying too. But yeah guys, that is my breakdown for Chucky Season 2, Episode 5. Leave me your thoughts down below. What do you think of this episode? Like, this episode is, I think this is where it gets better. Because, you know, this episode was crazy and full of surprises. But yeah, guys, leave me your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, guys, keep on collecting. Bye. Subscribe, damn it. I'll be back. I always come back and so should you, you moron.